I want to start off by saying, Matt, you took him out in turn four. Am I right, Tony? It was an illegal deal. Okay? And I haven't forgot about it either. <laughs> hey, I finally figured some of this out, I think, after 30 years. Those two guys introduced me, Kyle and Diddy, and I really believe I work for them. I finally figured this out. Martin, Eric, and those guys, the drivers get everything. Uh, but I want to say, first of all, just a uh, just congratulations to Buddy Baker and his, the family, um, his legacy and the acknowledgement, the family. I just know how proud you are. That's great for what he's done for our sport. Waddell, it's a thrill, um, I know, for you, the history and everything as you did for the sport to be honored. Hey, congrats on that. Uh, Bobby and Tony, uh, ob obviously great. They've done so much for our, our race team. Bobby, our first championship. Uh, and the thing that happens many times in our sport that all of you know, the emotion. I think one of the most emotional things that I experienced in racing, Bobby won his first race at Charlotte 600. Honestly, I don't think there was a dry eye there in the winner's circle. Uh, Tony, two championships with us. And I learned a lot, uh, I think it was our third race in, in Cup. T Tony was leading the race and we had a horrible pit stop and it put him in the back of the field. And I was ready for the outburst, okay? <laughs> and it's the first time I think that had happened on our race team with him. And here's what we all heard over the mic. Watch this. That man was back to the front in about 25 laps, and I really appreciate that, his competitive spirit and everything. Uh, between the two of them, 62 wins, and they really helped us with three championships and really built and helped us build our race team. Thank you, guys. Um, <clears throat> The Gibbs family history um, really starts with Pat, Joe, JD, and Coy all enjoying football. Uh, the boys were playing in college. Pat was running the show. We were all in football, and that was a big deal for us. But at the same time, the boys were in on, on everything that had a motor. It was jet skis, motorbikes, motocross, and loved it. And we would go back to races. And they came to me after a, uh, a while uh, when J.D. was getting ready to graduate, and they said, hey, hey, Dad, could we start a race team? Kind of wild. In our family, though, Mom has to approve everything we do. Okay? We all kind of coached up and tried to find a way to get her to say yes. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and when, when she did, we were off and running. And uh, Mom, thanks for that. Um, I started recruiting people. Don Meredith, good friend of mine, business friend, I said, would you come on board? And I knew that Richard Petty was a huge Redskin fan. I said, what better a guy to get advice from? And so I called Richard, asked him if I could come down for a meeting. I will always remember this meeting. He sent me down in a small chair over here. He was sitting in this high chair, and I'm looking up at him like this. <laughs> After a few minutes, he goes, what do you need? I said, I said, Richard, I'm thinking about starting a, ra a race team. And he goes, what? <laughs> he goes, why would you do that? <laughs> Caused me to back up a little bit, but uh, we wound up <laughs> moving ahead. Rick Hendrick said, hey, help me. Thank you, buddy. Uh, he helped us get started. He let Jimmy, Jimmy um, his, his general manager help us and made the tour. And of all things, we wound up, everybody kind of knows this story, we had a dream on a sheet of paper, and we wound up at Interstate Batteries. Norm, Tommy took a look at it, and they kept asking me, what do you have? And I said, nothing. <laughs> and eventually, uh, they said, let's do this. It was an awesome time for us, Scott, today, and we just appreciate those guys so much. Can you believe we were able to convince Jimmy Maycar and Dale Jarrett to start with us? We had 17 people our first year, 
And Dave, Cindy, Robin, Bucky, JD, and Jimmy are still with us out of that original group. Is that awesome or what? Um, and at that point, JGR was born. Um, I just want to say to everybody here, everybody in NASCAR, I was so nervous coming from football over to racing. How are we going to be accepted, the family, everybody? And I just want to say a big thanks to everybody here. The NASCAR family, just unreal. Everybody stretched out their arms. I want to say to the France family, thank you for your guidance, leadership, and the way you guys accepted us. The fans and the fellow competitors, all you guys, just that, that meant so much to us as we took off in racing. Now, the problem was you got to win. <laughs> 1982, our first year, zero, nothing. And I'm kind of saying to myself, and all of us are, do we believe? This is a big deal. Do we belong here? And so uh, the 93 Daytona 500 came along. Our very first race starting our second year. And uh, we had JD, who was a good athlete. Um, we put him changing tires. And in those days, he changed right side, left sides. And you can imagine that, our very first race, Daytona 500, and J.D., my son, our, all of us were so nervous, he's changing tires. And all of a sudden, that race, towards the end of that race, I start going, oh my gosh, you know, Dale's up there, we're going to have a chance. And I started thinking, it's going to come down to the last pit stop. <laughs> my son, first race, a chance to win the Daytona 500. I was just looking for a different way to throw up, okay? <laughs> Somehow we won that race, and I think it kind of verified the fact that we love it, we want to be in it, and maybe we can survive here. Um, we took off down the road, and as we fast forward to um, this year, 2019, the Daytona 500, and everything that went into that, um, J.D. found Denny and Manassas Raiden Lake models. J.D.'s number was always 11, playing football and racing. Denny's number was 11. J.D. went to be with the Lord on January 11th. Denny put his name over the door on that car. NASCAR said, we want to honor J.D. What lap do you want? We said 11. It comes down to the end of that race, and can you believe Denny wins that race, and I really believe God was there, and I think he had J.D. at his side. That was the greatest victory me, our family, have ever been a part of and ever will be a part of. And I think J.D.'s with us, and for us to finish this year with Kyle and a championship, it was a dream season for us. And I thank all 500 of our employees, which we love so much, I think we all felt that J.D. was there with us. J JGR today has grown. You got Corey and I are kind of overseeing things. We got Toyota, just a special relationship there. And not only a working relationship with them, but just friendships. We appreciate them so much. Um, the thing that I really appreciate about our sport, too, our sponsors. You know, other sports, they don't have to have sponsors. Here, we have sponsors. I love that aspect of our sport. And, you know, they're in the event. They're on the cars. They're a part of it. They're partners, and we can't go without them. And so all the experiences you have there, but the thing I appreciate the most is the friendships I've developed. It's just awesome. I said last night we had a party, and I thanked all of them. And to all of our sponsors that are here, sponsoring whatever car it is, just appreciate y'all so much. And thank you for being a big part of our sport and letting us do the things we like to do is race cars. So those close fr friendships, we just say thanks. The Gibb family has grown, okay? I got my grandkids here. Jackson, Miller, Jason, Taylor, Ty, L, Case, and Jet. Heather and Melissa are on board. I got eight grandkids charging the world, believe me. They're getting ready to get out there and go. But the one thing that they're all committed to, honestly, they love our race team, 
They love NASCAR. And I'm excited about the, what they're going to be able to do in the future for us and our race team. So thanks, gang. Okay, it's going to be fun. In closing, I just want to say this, that um, I figured out in life early, I was a horrible athlete. <laughs> and so I figured it out. There's not a lot up here. That's a physical education was my major. That's ballroom dancing and handball. But <laughs> figure this out. Horrible athlete, I need to be on team sports. And I could get in there and kind of hide, okay, and if we won something, I could kind of take some credit. <laughs> All right, that's the same thing with NASCAR. We got great people there, okay? They do the work. They are awesome as a group, and, and I just am a part of that, and it's the same thing I've learned. Just get good people around you, and it's going to be okay. Uh, I want to close by just saying this. Down through history, God has chosen some very average people. And he's blessed them with some of the greatest experiences man can create. I'm one of those. Thank you, Lord.